Hello everybody, my name is Burden, and this is a Daytona Falls After Dark. And by that, I mean, I'm going to take a, I have a, a poll I want to pose to you guys. A poll about what's more interesting. I, I, in 2019, like, what what do you think is going to make more money, Florida Man or Star Wars? So I I, I handpicked two articles, and you'll be the judge of which is more interesting: the Star Wars news or Florida Man news. And let me know. If you haven't subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it if you did. And if you're even considering it, I want you to consider it. I'm taking a big old piss right now. So if you don't, you know, if you don't like me, it's fine. Uh, but I watch your channels and I find something to enjoy every day. And I watch TV. I'm done with TV. TV's trash. Don't watch TV anymore. But listen, I'm just trying to fill air because I'm still not done pissing yet. But I got two excellent articles to go through. Florida man accused of strangling daughter after she made mac and cheese, say the police. It's like Florida Dr. Seuss. Uh, or we can do... Here we go. The star rises from the sands of Jakku and crazy unused force awakens concept art. Now what do you think is more important right now? Which one do you think it is? It's not the Death Star. Spoiler! It's Florida Man. Alright. Let me turn this fan off. It's late on a Monday night. So, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Say the police. I guess that's the guy. Apparently. Out of Jacksonville. That qualifies as Florida Man. Oh, I got another one too. Where Florida Man fights a gator. <clears throat> but. That's neither here nor there. Take my glasses off. Florida Man is accused of strangling his daughter. After she made macaroni and cheese. Say the police. Out of Columbia County. According to Action News, Jacksonville, the Columbia County Sheriff's Office arrested Dale Lawrence Irwin. Jesus Christ, it's not like he fucking shot the president. Why are you trying to ruin this dude's life? He's only 37. I mean, come on. Last week, said authorities, uh, police were dispatched to Sundial Police Apartments at 9.21 p.m. Uh, by the way, you can't tell time at night with a sundial. After a report of the domestic violence situation, according to the report, when police arrived, Irwin's alleged girlfriend said that he woke up and began yelling, Ooh, how dare you for cooking? How old's his daughter? Because I'll yell at my son if he's trying to cook in the middle of the fucking night. Let's find out if there was more involved. The electric girlfriend said that Irwin began breaking plates. Then as his daughter was sitting in a recliner chair, Irwin grabbed her by the neck and began strangling her. Homer Bart style, the woman told police. Irwin's daughter was gasping for air as, you know, and that's what happens when you get choked. Uh, when Irwin's daughter left the apartment and tried to drive away, Florida man Stabbed the front tire of the... Jesus Christ, Florida man. Uh, Florida man told her if police were called that he was not going to come out of the apartment. 
Like, if the keep, cops come here, I'm leaving. I'm hiding in the closet if I have to. If I have to. Police car. <laughs> this is not a very... But it's still more interesting than Star Wars. So, I mean, I got Star Wars, the story, to do. It's fucking midnight. Jesus Christ. Police cannot make contact with Florida man. An entry team was formed to gain access into the department. And it, it's always ending with comma, someone said. None of it's real. None of it's real. Once inside, Irwin was found in the shower when not come out. I'm not coming out of the shower. I'm singing in the rain. Just the fuck you. Yeah, I'm not coming out of the shower. I'm naked. Showering, you fucking weirdos. Get the fuck out of my fucking bathroom. <sighs> Police said, see? Police said. Every sentence ends in a comma, and someone else said it. Police had to assist Florida man to the ground and place him in handcuffs. According to see, see, comma, according to somebody else. Florida man was then placed under arrest. Domestic battery on himself. Singing on the shower. Strangulation chart. Oh, yeah, that too. All right, so what's more important? This? Oh, let's stay on Chrome. Garbage. Oh, Death Star rises from Jack Hill. Now, this is where you can vote in the comments below. Death Star rises from sands of Jakku and crazy, unused Force Awakens concept art. This is probably new. I don't believe you. Uh, it didn't really blow up in the old movies. I know what you guys think, but it, it just went down on the sand. Garbage. Nobody's interested. But check out Doug Chang. I think he might be related to the guy who runs the uh, the convenience store where we get all the bootleg movies. Thank you, Chang. No one's going to have to pay for episode nine. No one, no one should have to pay for episode nine. But he has shared a piece of previously unseen concept art from The Force Awakens. The art in question features the iconic Death Star 2. Rising from the sands of the Jack... No. The art in question features the iconic Death Star 2. Rising from the chance of... Why are we going back to Jack Who? Chang uh, currently serves as the Vice President and Executive Creative Director of Lucasfilm. Well, let's hope whatever part that he plays in that company, it's the cool parts. So far, it, he's not writing anything. You know, there's a lot of people involved. If, if you don't have a good fucking... Uh, okay. The story sucks. Uh, and he posted Star Wars concept art on social media. The Death Star has been teased many times in the latest trilogy. Well, yeah, you know, the very first movie. It's just another Death Star. Star killer base. Named it after what Luke was supposed to be. I, I guess that's a clue. Uh, I don't know if it's if they're just zeroing this. Mike zero this. Uh, but he's talking a lot about George Lucas being involved. We don't know this. I, I think it's all garbage. We'll, we'll see. It's been teased. And it looks like the Rise of Skywalker is already delivering the goods. You know, I kind of melt my brain. Oh, okay. I'm ending this. No. Hashtag war caught that shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. You ain't gonna let me forget. And I'm not gonna let anybody forget how much, how bad Jake Skywalker sucked. I mean, I think everybody was so happy that they were bringing back their original cast. That they also just signed, just signed a, a simple uh, contract with Disney. Like, yeah, 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 bring it back. Uh, how bad can it be? <clears throat> and then you know, Hamill had to got paid a lot just for showing his face in, in episode seven. That by the time that came out, he was already locked in. He couldn't quit. Like, they must have had some kind of... Well, contract on him. Look, well, if you quit now, 
you're gonna owe us. I mean, Disney's gangster shit. And they ruin all of it. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. Hey, listen, uh, all my new subscribers, thank you so much. I like to thank Snowdub, Banula, and uh, uh, who's the other guy? I forget, but they had a, a hot chick named Megs. I don't know who that is, but uh, it was a good video. And uh, everyone else. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. It's late.